Welcome back everyone, Mariah Monetize here, and in today's video we are going over the price of Bitcoin. It's been a few days since I made a video, sorry for the delay, uh, but I quickly wanted to go over just a couple things I said in my previous video and see if they actually happened. So I said on October 6th uh, that I was anticipating a pullback in five to seven days. That did happen, I think it was about seven days. And I said seven to 10%, the pullback was actually like 6.8% approximately. I also mentioned to you of the resistance around this line right here at about 57,300. We also saw a little bit of resistance there for a few days. Bitcoin lingered in that range. And then obviously it has taken off. So if you've been here a while, you know that I've been comparing a lot of the 2017 charts to the current day charts. And we're seeing a lot of correlation in just the dates and how they are lining up in terms of bottoms being in, buying opportunities, the charts looking extremely, extremely similar. So you know what? It's been working for the last couple months, me paying attention to how the days are aligning compared to the 2017 bull market. So I'm just gonna stick with that and let it continue to guide my predictions until it doesn't serve me any longer. So what I did here was in 2017, the buying opportunity came in on September 15th. And uh, the buying opportunity came in this time on September 21st. And so we are now 25 days after that buying opportunity. And so I was looking here and that takes us uh, to this range, this candle over here on the Bitcoin chart. This is the Bitcoin daily chart. And so I also mentioned that Bitcoin was going to outperform Ethereum in the month of October, and that is playing out as well. That's exactly what happened in 2017. We are literally seeing a repeat, and I feel like the opportunity is massive because there's so much correlation. So if that puts it over here, and then you can kind of see some similar price action, um, I would say the bodies of the candles and the candles in general. I mean, there's a little bit of differences in between these two, but you know, there's also some similarities as well. So I would say if things kind of continue on this path and we're gonna see more upside and you know, maybe some seven to 10% pullbacks, we're eventually gonna see a 30% pullback. But this is the thing is like, okay, like let's say for example, you're like, okay, I'm waiting for that 30% pull back on Bitcoin, right? Well, let's say that we're in this range, like I mentioned, right? Excuse me, over here. And you're waiting for that 30% pullback, which I think is eventually gonna come, but you're better on, better off, you know, in this scenario, you are better off getting in here than waiting for this pullback because this pullback only went down to about 5,500 back in 2017. But with the current rates that we're at now, we are uh, much lower than, you know, when you take into consideration the percentage of the pullback and everything like that. So that's kind of the correlation that I'm seeing. I'm still anticipating lots of upside, a lot of momentum. Um, the charts look primed. As soon as Bitcoin passes its previous all-time high, things are gonna get crazy, but we might see some resistance around that range of about $64,000. It could potentially take Bitcoin some time to uh, push past that, but it could also blow right through it. I mean, just of how close we are to all-time highs, we are definitely not at the end of this uh, this bull run in my actual opinion. So um, what I also wanted to do was I wanted to compare the percentage increase. So for example, um, I wanted to see that buying opportunity that came in on September 1st. Let me just go ahead and adjust my chart here. Uh, let's see here. So on September 21st, that was a buying opportunity and the low came in at about 39,000, uh, 39,600. And then let's go ahead and put in the top of this candle, which is 62, almost $63,000. Pretty freaking crazy. So we have seen um, a percentage increase of 57.5% since the buying opportunity of September 21st. I, when it came to Ethereum, I told you the buying opportunity of potentially a lifetime was coming in on September 20th. The 20th and the 21st were also, um, uh, both of them crazy buying opportunities. But if I'm curious, if you followed any of my directions, like go ahead and tell me how much money you've made so far, because that's just exciting to me. If someone did listen to what I said and followed what I was doing, then they made like some crazy returns. So that's a 57% increase. Okay, let's go ahead and see here uh, when it comes to the buying opportunity that came in on September 15th, 2017, the lowest uh, 
2975. Let's see here. Okay, I keep on thinking that I am on the Ethereum chart, but I'm actually on the Bitcoin chart. All right, so putting us 24 days out, um, it would be this candle. So wow, a lot of similarities. So um, a 63% increase, 63, 57%, a lot of similarities. So not only are the days lining up, but the percentages of moves are actually lining up as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, zoom out, go ahead and look at the seven day chart on Bitcoin, which looks insanely, insanely strong. Um, let's go ahead and look at the daily chart here on Bitcoin. A lot of strength. I mean, like I said, uh, I think we're going to see these seven to 10% pullbacks, eventually a 30% pullback, but overall the momentum is really crazy when it comes to Bitcoin. Bitcoin topped, uh, I believe December 17th in 2017. So I would say, you know, let's, it's October, November. Yeah. The next like two months or so about are going to be like your, your coins are probably going to go thou up thousands of percent, not thousands, hundreds of percentages. I mean, some will actually probably go up thousands. Like that's also very probable as well. Okay. Uh, 12 hour chart looking really, really strong. Um, just a lot of price action after this short term resistance. Um, you know, these charts are just making higher highs. They're looking extremely strong. Um, a lot of momentum, but you know, anticipate a, f a few pullbacks, but overall, um, this is when, you know, for the next few months, if you're holding on to crypto, you're going to feel like you're just making a ridiculous amount of money. And that's exciting. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to take a look here at the Ethereum chart, which has showed some improvements from the previous uh, video that I made because Ethereum was showing some weakness. And obviously we've seen Bitcoin is outperforming Ethereum. I would love to see Ethereum make a higher high on the weekly chart. So I would love to see it get above the high of this particular candle which is $4,030. Daily chart looking really, really strong on Ethereum. Very exciting, um, making a higher high. That's what I was, uh, because it didn't make a higher high here, I was kind of anticipating that pullback. And then now we're seeing that clear higher high, which is really exciting. 12 hour chart looking great. I mean, there is no signs right now on these charts of um, a lot of weakness. So like I said, expect the small pullback, but those are just little bumps in the road. And uh, 30 minute chart also um, looking strong here. So across the board, you know, a lot of strength in the cryptocurrency space. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to put Ethereum side by side to the 2017 chart. Let's go ahead and change that down here. Uh, let's see, we both, we need a daily chart on the both of these, both on the daily chart. I wanted to basically see from the buying opportunity, the percentage increase. Cause you know, we talked about the Bitcoin one, those were really, really similar. And so I wanted to see the percentage increase since that buying opportunity that came in on September 21st, 46% uh, increase. So as you can see, um, we have seen a 57% increase on Bitcoin since the bottom. We've seen a 46% increase. So Bitcoin is outperforming, technically outperforming Ethereum, not by a ton, but you know, something substantial there. So let's go ahead and take a look at, um, oh, I need to change this to an Ethereum chart. So Ethereum, I'm gonna change this to 2017. And what do we got going on here? So that buying opportunity came in over here. And let's see, we are over in this range over here. So about, 50%. So very, very similar increases as well in the same period of time. So if you want to earn some interest on your cryptocurrency, I have many links down below, BlockFi, Celsius, Nexo, and um, it's a good time to be alive in the cryptocurrency space. Stay well, enjoy time uh, with the people you care about. Try to take some time away from the computers. That's what I've been doing. And it's, you know, just to kind of give you a perspective here, um, typically when the price is going out of control, I get really anxious cause I'm like, Oh shoot, I don't know when to sell. Like, I don't know when to sell and like stepping away from the computers and just being outside and enjoying life has really helped me because honestly, when the price goes out of control, I have a really hard time sleeping in the past. That's been the scenario. I'm just up, constantly up checking, checking anxious. Like, is it time to sell? But you know, I am feeling so much, so much more confident with this, like this price increase and this price action. And I think it's just, you know, I've been here before, like I've done this a couple or once before in the last 
uh, market cycle. So whatever you do, just throw a little bit into crypto, like understand the fluctuations, understand your emotions around gaining a bunch and losing a bunch and how you feel so that you can take those same feelings and then do better in the next uh, market cycle. So that's all that I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a portfolio that you love.